Have you ever wondered which antipsychotics cause the most weight gain? Check out this article I found on PubMed, Antipsychotic Associated Weight Gain, Management Strategies and Impact on Treatment Adherence. Buried a few pages down is this convenient table listing the top offenders for antipsychotic induced weight gain. You'll notice at the top, we've got Clozeril and Zyprexa, the two worst offenders. And if you've watched some of my other videos on antipsychotics, you may have heard me say when I was working at the state hospital as a nurse, I saw some patients gain a pound a day for 90 days straight. So in a three month period, we're talking 90 pounds of pure fat. That's 90 pounds of sheer fat. We're not talking muscle here, we're talking adipose tissue. And when patients gain this amount of weight this quickly, it's typically because they are taking both Clozeril and Zyprexa, which is kind of funny because if you know anything about Clozeril, it's a medication that's supposed to treat treatment resistant schizophrenia. In other words, schizophrenia that has not responded well to other medications, which then begs the question, why would someone be taking Clozeril and another antipsychotic at the same time? Perhaps a lurking psychiatrist can answer that question. If we take a look at the list again, we'll notice we got Seroquel, Risperdal, and Invega that cause moderate weight gain. And then at the bottom, we have Abilify. I have no idea what medication this one here is. Safris, Haldol, Geodon, and Latuda. So ideally, if we were to start an antipsychotic medication, we would want to start at the bottom if we were concerned about weight gain and work our way upwards. Unfortunately, this is not what typically happens in an institution using involuntary medication. Usually what will happen is they will start Zyprexa, also known as olanzapine, as first-line treatment for schizophrenia. And my guess here is that's because Zyprexa is one of the most potent antipsychotics. I would say it's probably the second most potent antipsychotic after Clozeril. And generally it's believed that the more potent an antipsychotic is, the better chance it has at tapering the symptoms of schizophrenia. Another thing I wanna point out is that according to this article, weight gain is an indicator of a better response to antipsychotics, yikes. So if someone is taking an antipsychotic medication and their weight is increasing, then according to this article, there's a better chance their symptoms of schizophrenia are diminishing. I also want to mention I worked on a unit where the psychiatrist had everyone on a low caloric diet. So that means anywhere from about 1600 to 2000 calories max per day. And this was by far the only unit in a large psychiatric hospital where the patients did not gain an excessive amount of weight. And these were patients who were generally taking clozapine or Zyprexa or both. Sometimes they were taking lithium as well. And on this unit, I would say a lot of our patients were overweight and some of them were on the lower end of obese according to their body mass index, but none of them were excessively obese. I also saw a number of patients who were in fantastic shape who were taking large doses of Zyprexa and Clozeril. Generally though, they didn't appear overly sedated from this medication and these guys worked out a lot. We had one guy who claimed to do 500 push-ups a day, and anytime I was doing wellness and I happened to walk by his room, the guy was working out. He was working out a lot. In fact, he kind of looked like a miniature bodybuilder. Then again, I doubt a lot of people who take large amounts of Clozeril and Zyprexa would have the energy to work out to the extent that he did. So really what I've seen work for a large amount of patients in terms of keeping weight off is a calorically restricted diet that's fairly healthy combined with daily exercise.